Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome to Japan. All right, enough of the beautiful view. Okay, come back here, let's go, let's go. All right, so what I want to talk about today is a change and shift of this channel. Now, this channel has been mainly focused on photography, videography, related to camera stuff, but also I did do a little bit of rumors here and there in the camera world. However, I do want to kind of mix in a little bit of different content. Now, I've been trying to figure out what I should be doing and you saw me kind of go to the RK, make casual vlogs here and there that has nothing to do with photography and videography. And that is actually intentional, okay? Don't think that I did that not knowingly. I did this all intentional because I wanted to see what I would like to do as far as being able to maintain a progressive content release on this channel uh, and just long-term sustainability for this channel and I wanted to make fun content for you as well as myself and I was thinking what could that be and mosquito mosquito biting me but anyways uh what was I saying oh yeah so what I can make for this channel and basically I was thinking why don't I show you guys around Japan I'm gonna be sticking around Japan for a little while and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to travel throughout Japan but I do plan on doing it if I can now what would also interest me and I hope it interests you is to show you not just around Japan because I know there's a lot of vloggers in Japan that are expats or you know residents here or citizens and they can show you guys around and they usually show a lot of it already on their channel. However, you know, even though they've made videos on it before, I can revisit some of them and do like a 2021 version or 2022 version, you know, New Year coming up and stuff. And I kind of wanted to do that kind of stuff as well. And there is going to be something else that I want to make on the channel, but it's, I don't think I can make it for the channel. Now, let me clarify on what I just meant there. What I want to do is, let's say I want to create a video where I cannot really show it on YouTube because I'm going to get demonetized for whatever reason. I do want to make a Patreon account where I can post that video and you guys can view it. However, you would have to pay kind of like a membership fee, uh, but also it's supporting me as a creator to be able to travel around Japan to make new content videos for you guys as well. Now, because of all this changes that's going to happen, I'm also going to be probably releasing my new website, uh, which I don't know when it's going to be up yet, but I do want to sell my prints and I hope you can support me on this journey to provide content for you guys and am I going to defer away from photo and video completely one day? I don't think I will like a hundred percent. However, right now I would say because of, you know, without all the kind of test videos that I put out, I would say right now it's about 80% photo video related and 20% not related anything to do with video or photo. However, that might do a complete 180 flip around and it might be 20% video and photo related and then 80% just kind of vlogging, casual, just showing you guys around, going and testing out different stuff. There's so much food and convenience stores and stuff that I do want to try out and just let you guys know on the channel, just like a fun entertainment video. Now you might be asking, Ken, did you lose passion for photo and video? Uh, the thing is, in a sense, yes and no. The reason why I say this is because photo and video is something that I am passionate about, but also YouTube kind of makes it like a job because you're stressing out about algorithms and getting views. And if this is something that you're gonna try to do full time as a YouTuber, putting your passion can seem like work at the very beginning. But keep in mind, this is coming from a person who really wants to make YouTube work. Okay, I want to make this work to make a full-time income and I'm putting 110% of my time into this entire thing. And obviously uh, I'm experimenting on the way there. All right, so let me explain. The whole thing about me doing photo and video and teaching you guys everything and that I know to you guys is because I'm passionate about what I do, but I also want to teach you guys and I want you guys to learn for free. Education for free, that's what I believe in. I feel like it's getting to a point where that was the intention and then the algorithm kicked in, talking to other YouTubers and creators and 
uh, you know, how hard they're working on pleasing the algorithm and, you know, all the thumbnails, everything counts when it comes to this thing. And there's so much more behind to just posting videos uh, if you do want to make a full time living out of YouTube. And obviously, this is something that you learn while you're doing YouTube. OK, so hopefully this message can pass on to someone who may want to start YouTube. Just know that, you know, even though they say do what you are passionate about, if you decide that you know your passion is slowly turning into something that's not a passion because it seems like it's too much work and maybe you just would love to have that passion be a hobby something that you can get away to you know and away from your regular nine to five job or regular whatever you're trying to do on YouTube and being a content creator and so for me that is kind of it like I'd rather go take photos and go street photography by myself and just snap a few photos edit them on my own time not necessarily because I have to post it to YouTube but again I built this channel on photo and video and I still love it and I still want to teach you guys a few things so this is why I say yes and no I will still do it and not do it or if I'm losing passion for it, if I'm not losing passion for it it's kind of like a 50-50 However, I do want to show you guys Japan. Japan has a lot to offer. I know right now with the pandemic, it's still going on. It seems like a new variant coming out like every single month or something. Uh, countries are going lockdown again. So whatever this new normal is currently right now, uh, I do want to show you guys Japan. For those of you who cannot visit Japan for whatever reason, uh, either with the pandemic or you can't afford it or whatever it is, I want to show you guys Japan. I want to show you guys little gifts and stuff that you can get from Japan, snacks, and taste it and see what tastes good, what doesn't taste good. May highly regret those type of videos, but I'll try. I'll try. And for those of you who have been subscribed for a while now, uh, just because of the video and photo aspect of this channel, and if you feel like unsubscribing, I totally understand. You may do so, and I totally, totally get it. Now, however, I do want to also note that I do have a second channel that is going to be premiering, and that channel is basically all about this main channel. And what I mean by that is it's kind of like the behind the scenes, also the negative aspect of being a content creator. I feel like a lot of people do make like a one off video on their channel where they're just kind of like, oh, yeah, I had a bad day or, you know, this video wasn't working out because of this is and this reason. But I kind of want to do a channel where I tell you guys like maybe I don't know if it's going to be on a daily basis or whatever, but I do want to tell you guys the performance of every single video that I post from now on to see how how it's doing, the analytics behind it, how much I'm making on it. Just be really open with you guys. And also that channel is going to be completely unfiltered. But also I want to tell you that this channel, I kind of want to do it all unfiltered as well. Like in real life, if you're friends with me, I'd be swearing. OK, well, like not every like every second or third word, but I do swear. OK, and I think a lot of creators do that, but obviously they bleep it out and stuff. But I kind of want to just since YouTube is claiming that, you know, if you use course language then it's okay i do want to put that to the test and i'm not going to bleep anything out on this channel anymore uh unless it's getting really progressively saying everyone's like fuck this fuck that, fuck this and then yeah i may bleep you know if it's consecutively uh going but uh for the most part i kind of don't want to uh that's less editing for me and uh hopefully just more real me uh so anyways that's kind of it for this video if you guys like it you know feel free to like it i don't want to have to ask for subscriptions anymore um but if you do feel free if you feel like you're not going to get any more out of this channel for educational purposes then you know feel free to unsubscribe but if you feel like you want to see more of japan then hang on tight because i'll try to make more videos in studio outside the studio and yeah and there's some news is coming out soon. So I will keep you posted on that and follow my Instagram as well, because I do post stories on there once in a while. So yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Peace out. All right, actually, we're just gonna drive up the road a little bit. No, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Such a bumpy road. <laughs>